I think this is probably the most uncomfortable shoe I've ever worn in my entire life. <laughs> Hey girl, hey, it's Nita and welcome back to another video. Today I want to do something a little different on the channel but I thought it would be fun and informative to share with you guys the luxury purchases that I regret buying. <laughs> yes girl. So I shared with you guys in a video a couple of maybe a month or two ago that I have been doing a wardrobe revamp, closet purge, just kind of revamping and updating my style and with that I've been going through my closet looking to see what I have, what I don't have, what I need, what I want all of those things and I came across um, some luxury purchases that I made last year that I regret buying, regret spending money on and I did decide to sell. So I thought it would be nice to go ahead and share with you guys these items because I think that I know for sure two of the three items are very popular and I just wanted to share my thoughts on it because I hadn't really heard any I'm not gonna say I hadn't heard negative reviews, but I haven't really heard a lot about, especially the uh, Tom Ford padlock sandals, I hadn't really heard much negative about those, but you know, could just be me. Anywho, I did wanna share with you guys my thoughts on these in case they are on your luxury wish list. Um, again, I just, I just don't recommend it, girl, but uh, just sharing my experience with you guys in hopes that it's informative and helpful if you are looking to purchase these items. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So I'm gonna start with a shoe that is extremely popular and um, it's beautiful, but baby, ugh, no. Um, it is the Tom Ford Padlock Sandal. I have the gold pair and they are literally beautiful. Such a beautiful shoe, stunning. I love, love, love this heel. Y'all know I love a good heel, she's sexy all of the things and I love this heel so much. I love the padlock on there and um, yeah, I actually went into the store looking for this shoe. It was sold out everywhere. I went into the Tom Ford Boutique. I went into Neiman's and um, the SA, both the SA at uh, Neiman's and Tom Ford emailed me on the same, well, texted me on the same day and said they were in stock and I ran to get them immediately because I wanted this shoe so bad for my birthday. I actually planned on wearing this with a dress that I got for my birthday, but um, it ended up raining, so I didn't do the outfit as a whole. So um, I purchased these shoes in October of last year, so what, like eight months ago? I finally wore these shoes last month, or maybe two months ago, for my friend's birthday dinner. And let me tell y'all, these shoes hurt so bad so bad I was literally walking like a baby calf in this heel and I can't take it like first of all I'm too grown okay to be walking like a baby calf as a grown adult and second they just did not hurt like that when I tried them on in the store and I'd worn them around the house but girl after a good five ten minutes in these shoes my pinky toe is dead oh my god they hurt so bad and I'm a heel wearer, I love heels, I love a good heel, but I, I have tried to put, um, I think I talked about this in my stories one day and somebody suggested, I forget what it's called, but I've tried all kinds of things to make this shoe more comfortable. It is just a painkiller. And it's so disappointing because the shoe is stunning, like it's so beautiful. And they just released new colors. They have it in this beautiful blue color. They have pink. I think they also have green, but that blue is sick. It's like a, a beautiful um, royal blue. But y'all, this shoe hurts so bad. And these shoes are like $1,200. That's too much money to spend for a shoe that hurts like hell. This shoe hurts so bad. I think this is probably the most uncomfortable shoe I've ever worn in my entire life. <laughs> like it, it hurts y'all, it hurts so bad. I, I can't do it and I have tried, I have tried, I have tried to make it work. I wanted to make it work because I just love these so much. They're sexy, they're beautiful, they're stunning. I wanted these so bad but girl it, it, it's just a no for me and um i just i don't know how the girls are wearing these if you own a pair let me know how are you <laughs> how are you wearing these what am i missing but yeah i just it's too expensive and i'm too grown to walk around in a shoe that makes me walk like a baby calf i i can't do it next up is another uh luxury purchase that i was very excited to get and it is these Louboutins. <laughs> so 
um, you know, I don't really hear much about these anymore. I don't really see people wearing red bottoms and talking about red bottoms, you know, but I'd always wanted a, a pair because I think that they are beautiful, specifically these, because I like the toe cleavage in the shoe. But um, I'd been looking for a pair of classic black pumps for a very long time. I didn't originally want patent leather, but I didn't want like a matte leather. I knew that I wanted the sexy toe cleavage and I knew that I wanted a nice classic black heel. So I done my research before before I even went into the store. Um, I purchased these at the uh, Louboutin Boutique in Highland Park in Dallas. So before I'd even gone to the store to try on these shoes, I've been looking at different reviews because I heard that they really hurt. These have a reputation of not being the most comfortable shoes. So I was already prepared. Um, for that, it wasn't as uncomfortable as I anticipated, but they are not uncomfortable you know they have a reputation for being uncomfortable and they are let's be very clear okay but when I tried them on I was surprised I said okay it's not as bad as I thought it was I think these can work so according to my research this style of shoe I want to say this is the Aritzia I believe I'll correct myself on the screen but I want to say this is the Aritzia style this is the 100 millimeter heel height and they said that this is not as uncomfortable because it has the cut out on the inner part of the uh, shoe so it's not as stiff and narrow as the original pumps that are just like fully enclosed and I can attest that that is true so these were more comfortable and not as narrow as the full on pump um, however these Number one, they are uncomfortable, right? And I was advised to, you know, wear them around the house with socks and stuff like that. But I just feel like for this price point of a shoe, I shouldn't have to do all of that work to break in the shoe. So that's the first reason that it's um, it's a regret of mine because I'm not gonna pay seven, I think these are seven or $800. I'm not paying that much for a shoe and then I have to turn around and break in the shoe. It's just too much work. Second of all, because the heel is so tiny, well, specifically the bottom of the heel is extremely tiny right this literally gets stuck in everything now I've worn these a good handful of times maybe like six or seven times every time I have worn these heels they have got this portion has gotten stuck either in the sidewalk in like pebble if I'm walking on cobblestone in I mean any little crevice because this is so tiny it's always getting stuck somewhere I just thank God I have not broken my neck wearing these shoes because this gets stuck everywhere and it is so annoying and it just makes it where I don't even want to wear the heels anymore I'm surprised that I haven't torn up the bottom well this one you can kind of see I don't know if the camera is gonna pick up you can kind of see the heel on this one does have a little bit of a nick just at the very bottom also, I shared these shoes on Instagram. Um, I did a reel with them one time and I kicked up the bottom of my foot and a lot of the babes were asking how I keep the bottom of these from getting scuffed. And when I got them, it was recommended that I take them to a cobbler and have them protect the soles, which is what I did. I don't know what this is called or anything like that. It's just, it's very much textured. And like I said, I've worn these about between seven and 10 times. And as you can see, the soles are very much red. So um, I'm sure you can just take them to any cobbler and ask them to protect take the soles and they can do whatever this is that they put on the bottom of the shoe um and uh yeah so that's what i did to the bottom to protect the soles on these um also just be mindful when, if you do decide to do this you cannot return the shoe um which they did inform me of which was fine i had no intentions on returning them it's just after wearing them you know i started having the issues but yeah these heels the this portion of the heel gets stuck all of the time so it makes it hard to walk in because it's like if I'm walking on like I said just regular sidewalk it'll get stuck in between the the indentions in the sidewalk it's just so annoying and so it's just like girl no no they gotta go it's it's too much work it's just not that deep to wear this type of shoe you know they're beautiful again I love the style of shoe I love the toe cleavage it's a very sexy sophisticated type of shoe however for the price point it's just like if I just want to be that uncomfortable in a shoe and I want to tiptoe every time I'm walking I can go buy a little $20 shoe from the you know it's no like I refuse to spend this amount of money on a shoe and then I have to tiptoe when I'm walking so the heel doesn't get stuck and I got to break it in with socks and I have to do all of these things girl no ma'am so yeah beautiful shoes but these are a no and so yeah I'll be selling these <laughs> 
Next up, I have another shoe from Tom Ford and it is these boots. I believe these are called just the Tom Ford padlock boots. Um, this is another item that I purchased at the end of last year, I wanna say I got these in November, October, November. I think I got them after my birthday, but I know for sure I got them at the end of last year. And these are beautiful boots. I love the, I love the signature padlock on this shoe and it's um, a booty, I shouldn't say a shoe. Zips on the inside and it has this signature gold heel and then the signature padlock that Tom Ford has, right? So beautiful boots. I went into the store, at, you know what? I purchased these before my birthday because I went into the Tom Ford boutique to see if they had the padlock heel. They didn't have it either after I'd gone to Neiman's and they didn't have it. And so um, they didn't have those, but I saw these boots. I originally wanted the taller suede version, but I didn't try it on because I knew they have a wide calf and they didn't seem to have much give. But looking back, I wish I would have at least tried it because I have seen some ladies wear them scrunched down and it looks really, really good. And you guys know that I have worn boots that are not wide calf like scrunched and it looks great so I wish I would have tried it out however I did go ahead and try these on and I did like them so I picked these up the only thing that I did not care for about the boot but I was willing to do it because I like the style is that this lock every time you zip up the boot you have to undo the lock zip up the boot and then reattach the lock on the outside so that's the downside to this shoe but outside of that it's just a beautiful shoe and i was willing to do that because i love shoes and i thought the boots were beautiful however i just found that all winter last year i did not reach for these boots not one time i take that back i reached for them once or twice but i didn't wear them because it's just very fitted at the ankle and i've learned that i don't like I don't really care for boots that are fitted at the ankle. I do, but it has to be a certain style. And because these are very fitted at the ankle and then it does have the super pointy toe, I just didn't like the way it looked on my foot. So for that reason, I will be selling these. Um, again, it's not that, I guess it's not a knock against the shoe as a whole. It's not uncomfortable or anything like that. It's a beautiful boot. Again, outside of the hassle of having to undo the lock, zip up the boot, redo the lock like honey it's a lot <laughs> but you know it's a sick boot so i was okay with that but yeah i just i just found that i never reached for them and again for the price point of these boots these boots i want to say they retail for like uh i didn't put the price point of this one on my notes did i no i think i want to say they retail for maybe 15 to 1700 very expensive <laughs> and it's too expensive for me to have them just sitting in my closet so for that reason i'm gonna go ahead and sell these as well it is a luxury purchase that i regret buying just because again if i'm spending that kind of money on a boot i need to love it and i need to reach for it and wear the boots we're not spending this amount of money to have the item just sitting in the closet collecting dust and these have literally set in my closet all last fall and winter collecting dust. Um, I did wear them around the house um, just to see if they were like comfortable, which they are. Very comfortable boot, but yeah, I just, I didn't reach for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them go. All right, you guys, they are mowing the grass outside. So I'm so sorry about that. I'm gonna try to cut out the sound, but if I can't, I apologize in advance. But the last item on in this, uh, you know luxury purchases that i regret um actually this is not a purchase that i regret i just i can't believe i spent this amount of money on a bag and i have not reached for it as much as i would have liked to because of the price point of the bag and it is this dior bag here okay you guys have seen this bag um i do wear it quite a bit in the fall and winter and every time i wear this bag i get a million compliments but it is a dior bag um it has the Dior logo on the back of the bag, and then um, it has the CD in the front of the bag, okay? So I purchased this bag actually as a birthday gift to myself. I actually, you guys, if you don't know, I turned 35 last year, so it was like a milestone birthday, and um, you know, I bought that on myself, okay? So, um, I actually really wanted a Chanel bag. And so my friend and I went to the Chanel store and they really didn't have a lot in the store. Um, there was a gold bag that I had my eye on, but the lady in front of me purchased the bag. 
So there was that. Outside of that, they didn't have anything that I really wanted. So we went to a couple of other boutiques and I went into the Dior store and I saw this sitting on the shelf and it just like screamed ah, at me. It was like, get me, buy me, take me home. <laughs> I actually went into the Dior store with the intentions of buying one of the very popular totes, right? However, it was another thing where I felt like at that price point, because the Dior totes are like, I want to say they're close to $3,000 or maybe $2,500. Don't quote me on that. They're, so, they're expensive, right? And I just felt like if I'm going to pay that kind of money, I might as well get a purse and not a tote that I'll probably only wear on vacation or in the, in the summertime, right? So I looked at the bag. I felt the bag. I thought that it was beautiful, but I kept like, you know, looking at other things in the store and I just kept coming back to this bag. It was between this bag and there was a white bag that was very similar to this. But at the time I was like, I don't know if I see myself purchasing, spending this amount of money on a white bag. Also, because I just wasn't sure if I would, I didn't want a bag that I would have to baby. In a white bag that's that pricey, I knew that I was gonna be babying the bag and I kept having to clean it and all of that. I was like, no girl, I'm not trying to do all of that. I want a bag that I can like wear and not have to baby. So I went ahead and purchased this beauty here and I do love her. However, I'm just like, girl, you spent that amount of money on that bag. That is crazy. <laughs> so, you know, on the one hand, I'm like, you know, I treated myself. It was my 35th birthday. Like, I'd worked hard. I deserve, okay? I deserve. Anything for you, princess. There was, <laughs> I was in that kind of mood because I've worn this bag, but not as, oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> I've worn this bag, but not as much as I would have liked. Ooh, wait a minute. I was like, what is this in these? Oh, sunglasses. I've been looking for those. But anyhow, I've worn this bag, but not as much as I would have liked. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just on the fence about this one. I'm not selling this. I'm going to keep it because I do love her. And as I'm looking at her on camera, this is a beautiful bag. It actually looks good what I have on today. So yeah, I love this bag, but I'm just still, I don't know. I, I'm not going to say that I regret it. But this was probably, this was my second luxury bag purchase. The first purchase that I made was a Christmas gift to myself a couple of years ago. I bought the YSL Lulu and I think I have the medium. But you guys see that I wear that pretty often. I got that bag on sale, but I didn't pay nearly <laughs> as much as I paid for this bag. And so the reason I say that is because this is not a leather bag. It is, uh, I don't know what material this is. It's beautiful, it's soft, but I just feel like for the price point, I could have gotten something leather. But also when I look at some of the totes that I've been looking at recently and I see the price point, I kind of get it. And it is Dior, so it's not like I bought it from, I don't know, some random place, you know what I mean? So I don't know, I, I do love this bag. Like I said, I'm not getting rid of it. She's beautiful, I love her, but I just wish I would have gotten this bag on sale. Like this is a bag that I would have eyeballed and waited till I had a sale. So they had a sale or maybe like when I got some by, um, my Neiman's points or something to spend, like something. I just wouldn't have paid full price for this bag. Only because I don't reach for it as much as I would like to with the amount of money I spent on it. There, so I hope that, <laughs> I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All right, babe, so those are the luxury purchases that I regret buying and spending my hard earned money on. Um, we know how expensive luxury purchases can be. And I know for me, I'm a treat yourself type of girl. So if I reach a milestone or whatever have you, I like to treat myself with, you know, a luxury item or a luxury experience or, you know, whatever have you. So the reason I wanted to share these items is because I feel like I know for sure the Tom, the Tom Ford padlock sandals and the Louboutins too are popular shoes that a lot of people do want to purchase. And I, especially the Tom Ford sandals, I hadn't really heard anyone say they were uncomfortable. Um, I've seen a lot of ladies wearing them and they seem to wear them just fine. So again, it could just be me. It could just be my foot. I don't know. But girl, like I said, that is probably the most uncomfortable heel that I have ever worn in my entire life. Those those hurt more than the Louboutins. Those those hurt so bad. Like like I said, I've worn those quite a few times, maybe six or seven times. Those Tom Ford heels, I wore one time. I tried to wear them a second time, and I couldn't even make it out of the door in those shoes. They hurt so bad. So. <laughs> 
I hope that this was helpful and I hope it saves you guys some money so you don't have to go through what I went through. Of course, I am going to sell these items. I've already started the process of selling them on Fashion File because I don't want to have to go through the hassle with selling them myself. Um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these items, what your experience has been, or if they were on your wish list as well. Again, I'm not going to deter you from buying them. I just hope that this helps you make an educated decision. Make sure you put these heels home and strut yourself around that store to make sure that they're not uncomfortable and you don't get them home and you regret buying them like I did. Let me know if you guys found this video helpful and if you would like to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up to help YouTube to share it out to more people. If you haven't already, make sure you're following me on Instagram at the Nita Danielle. I'm on TikTok, Nita Danielle. Pinterest, Nita Danielle. Girl, everything is Nita Danielle. And make sure you subscribe to the blog, NitaDanielle.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.